So here we are at the Hanma Springs, what's this place called? The something resort. Well, good evening sir, may we join you? We're at the Five Stags Bar, it's a mean bar, oozing with character. And the pool table's free. Unbelievable, as are the darts, the food's not free, however that's where they get you. They got me good. Bloody expensive to eat out here in New Zealand. It's ridiculous. Yes, it's ridiculous. I guess people have got to make money. So. But we're about to go down to Clarence. Five days of adventure. Dan's in Kaikoura with the rest of the crew and they're going to drive up and meet us here tomorrow and we'll put on the river tomorrow for five days of epic adventures. Hopefully not too epic. Meet the team, turn around guys, give us a wave, this is Tom on the right. Then we've got Steve and Charlie and Sam. And then we've got another Charlie down here. Hi. My name's Josh. And we're on the Clarence River rafting. Bruce isn't, Bruce is actually stuck at the moment. But uh, he'll be joining us shortly. Forward paddle team, it's a bit shallow. It's not too bad. <laughs> What'd you find, Charlie? I thought it was a wormy thing before. That this is the thing I saw. What is it? Skink. A skink. Boys had a hard night on the lifts. Leon Cronji recommends putting charcoal in your coffee and your cowboy coffee to help the grind sink. Mm. White bait cake. It's going to be good to go see all that. What's so funny? What's so funny? Well, you've been whittling this charcoal stick and now you're putting suntan lotion on. Yeah, so. Oh, for some west coast rainforest moss. The sun's come up. It's a stinking hot day. It's going to be an absolute pearl on the river. It was quite cold last night. It was frosty. Everything was covered in a layer of frost. So that gives you an idea of what this environment is like. It's really like a desert. I'd call this New Zealand's desert because it's stinking hot in the day, freezing cold at night, it hardly ever rains up here. There's animal sign everywhere but who knows how old it is because I don't know when the last time it rained up here. It could have been months, could have been years. Yes, I'm going to put the camera away now and crack into it because we've got a lot of stuff to do. We have to load the rafts, wash all the dishes, pack all the buckets, pack the chilli bins, pack the tents up, pack the dry bags, pack the barrels, pump the rafts up, get changed into our wetsuits on the river. What's up, Pilgrim? <laughs>
we go. Cheers. Yeah, bro. Made it. Cheers, Doug. Cheers, buddy. Good day, mate. Good day. Cheers. Cheers, Steve. Cheers, Good work. Oh, nice. Nailed it. It's the old double whammy technique from Grand there. Yep. All the way from Great Barrier Island. Darren, go! No, just... Oh. They're behind me. You've got to swim over and get it. They're off, though. They know oh, they've they seen us. They heard you, Charlie. Mate, when are you going to learn, eh? There's one slow one, though. There's one slow one lagging behind. Can I shoot him? What? What no, because that's not a good backdrop, bro. There's a road coming down that hill, and the farmer could be... Can we paddle across? Paddle across to shoot him? We've already shot enough for a feed. Please? You're a stone-cold killer. Yeah, I can. No yeah. way. Slowly squeeze the trigger, bro. Got him. Oh. Yeah, drop it on the ground there. Tom doesn't really want to show it. Nothing. Nothing in the magazine? Nope. What's that? Nope. Nothing. Sweet. All right, keep, leave the bolt open. We'll cruise back to camp. Get our coffee on the go, bro. Quail. Look at that, eh? Real man's bro. That's it. Oh, that was a good one. So I always feel a bit guilty when everyone's working and I stop to video everyone else working. I'm going to stop video now and I'm going to go to work. Okay. So professional. These are Dan's gluten-free wraps. Check them out, they look really good. What's the recipe for that, Dan? Three eggs, bit of tapioca starch, bit of almond flour, and a tablespoon of olive oil. They hold together real good, don't they? It's the eggs, mate. It's, it's like an omelette, pretty much, with a bit of flour in it. Sweet. There's some really, really cool rocks here. This, this area actually carries the oldest limestone in the world. 60 million year old limestone. It's a Murray limestone. I'm just trying to find a piece here. We, I saw it, we pulled up, there was Mary limestone everywhere. Anyway, it's 60 million year old limestone. It's the oldest limestone in the world and geologists come, there's a piece from all over the world, to check it out. Is that limestone? Yeah, mate, that's 60 million year old limestone. That's pretty old, eh? <laughs> bit of action today, bit of action. Well, not really action. Graham has a kidney infection or a liver infection and got a very high temperature. He's running a temperature of 39.5 degrees when I first took it. So I called the helicopter, so we set the air perb off, got on the, the Garmin Explorer, sent a text message out with the symptoms and 20 minutes later, boom, the helicopter turns up, it was awesome. Sure. We're just setting up camp here. Got some lamb shanks on the go and setting my tent up, I picked up a rock to put on the end of the tent and there's a bloody wasp nest on it. And they're angry. So now I've got to kill the wasps and not get stung. Charlie, what do you got there, mate? CFP. What? Clearance fried possum. 
Ah, clearance fried possum. Pull it off. All right, could you just explain to me what that is, Charlie? Well, this is a s'more. When you get a marshmallow, it can be two or one. You stick it to the fire, it burns to crisp. And then you get two cookies. Do you burn it to a crisp? No, yeah, you burn it. Yeah, you burn it in, until the around it's black and then you put in between two cookies, crush it and then squeeze it out. And then the inside's nicely toasted. Yeah. Give me a look at it, have a bite and then give me a look after the bite. Well, so that's before the bite, you go have a, have a snap. And then, oh yeah, yeah, is yours nicely toasted as well? Oh uh, yeah, pretty well. Did you go for the blackened around the edge? Yeah. It's a way to go, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a charcoal. It's probably good for you too, eating charcoal. Is it better to have the chocolate on the outside or the inside? We should have just given Graham a small, that might have sorted him out, eh? Bit of charcoal around the outside. Yeah. He'll be okay. I think Graham's going to live, which is great. We'd like to keep him around a bit longer. He's obviously hard as nails. His, bro his son Brock said, I, I actually think he's going to die. <laughs> he's pretty crook. He's pretty tough, so well, I, that's it. We're calling the helicopter. Oh, yeah. You're going to die of sugar poisoning, mate. What yeah. the heck? Yeah. Charlie. Did so you see you, that? Yeah, as soon as Tommy's going to be up to there. Jeez, Holy man. crap. What is that thing? Holy shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's crazy, isn't it? Man. You're going to be on a sugar rush for like a <laughs> three days. <laughs> huh? You'll just Charlie's... be coming down when you get home. <laughs> no, stay away. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> He doesn't want to eat that meat, does he? Ready for bed, Charlie? Yep. Yep, pretty good day, eh? Sugar hangover. We've just had the last two hours. The last two hours have been hard out. Just wind and when the paddling and the kids get freezing and thirsty as. I'm the only one drinking from the river because I've got dog guts, but these other fellas wanted a nice, fresh, clear mountain stream and there haven't, hasn't been any clear, fresh mountain streams because 1080. Tenadies killed all the water up here. <laughs> we saw a dead stag, 10 pointer stag, it was an absolute cracker. I only seen, crikey, how many goats have we seen? Five or six? 
hardly any. A few prints here and there, but nah, it's been dismal. So we got one more kilometre on us and then we're at camp. Oh, we got cage fighting over here, guys. <laughs> Taking bets. Oh, look out! Oh, we got a. Get up, you guys. Give each other a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Enlighten our audience. What, what are we up to? Well, we're trying our second lot of red wine, uh, Chateau de Cardboard. And uh, the first lot was this um, Veluto Rosso, which says it's soft and smooth, but um, it's fair to say it's really just kind of port. So th th this one was a $20 cardboard box, that one was 30 and it's fair to say the $20 cask is, um, is far better, far better. So there you go, hey? Money doesn't always buy your quality. Money! <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Morning sunshine. Good morning. Dad, Steve and I were just bombing the goats. Nice and steady. Are you, you're not steady, mate. Nice, you smoked him. Good shot. Not a very nice thing to do, is it, mate? No. I thought we were going to go and get them. I know you did, yeah. And we certainly won't be doing that again. No, I thought we were going to be going and getting them. Yeah, if you sort of try to hold something really... And just like that, the good times are rolling again. So simple. You just let the good times roll. Hey, Charles, they just roll, don't they? Oh, this is the last piece of chocolate, kids. We were going to share it with you, but after all of that mean name calling and everything, we decided not to turn the other cheek this time and eat the chocolate. So we've made it. We have made it back to civilization and we are currently at the Groper Garage bar and restaurant with a blazing fire. Waiting for some food. I think the lads are back playing pool there. We'll go see what they're up to. <laughs> nice shot. Fly away. That was a bit of humor. We're just driving down the Lewis Pass here and we see an Asian and he's got a rental car and he's looking under the front of the bonnet and there's steam pissing out the front of the bonnet. So we thought oh, we'll give this guy a hand and get him back on the road again. So we pull over. Me and Bruce get out. We both look pretty rough. Fair call. We both got black woolen shirts on and I got my fleece pants on and Bruce has got gumboots on and we walked up the car and he wound his window up and we're like, mate, why don't you window down? And I said, oh, you everything okay there? I noticed that you were looking under your thing and steam was in. He's not okay, 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 no problem, no problem. We saw, sure, it looks like your car's over. And he's like, no, no, no problem, no problem. Thank you, bye. Drove off up the road with steam pouring out of his car. So he was obviously shit scared of us. Didn't want any help. Ah, anyway, that's our good deed for the day. We're almost home. It's... Five o'clock, and I'm going to stop yapping and keep driving because the day's wearing on. How you doing, Charlie? Good. Bit naked, mate? Yeah. Long day, eh? I'll fly away. G'day, Sonny. What's that? I got a, I got an knife and a bow and You got what? I got a knife and a bow and arrow. You got a knife and a bow and arrow? Yeah. G'day, dogs. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, exciting. Yes. Stay down, down, stay down, down. <laughs> Very exciting. Yes, it's an exciting time, isn't it? Holy shit. 
Look at all the shit inside. Outside, outside dogs, outside, outside, out, puppy shit everywhere. Outside. Oh. Look out, Sonny, puppy shit. I'm just going Whoa, it's pretty exciting. The dog shared herself. She was, Jack! G'day, mate. How's it going? Hi, Dad. Sonny, g'day, mate. You got a bow and arrow and a knife. Hi. Kristen, g'day, mate. Look what I have. Dan, g'day, mate. G'day, mate. <laughs> oh, come on. Share the love. Bring it in. Ah, bye. It's a trail of destruction out here. This is the next day, and we're still sorting crap out. It's going to be probably half a day. Clean all this stuff up, wash everything out, dry everything, and then once everything's dried, put it away. That's a deer. So what a fantastic week in the hills that was. You'll be glad to know that Graham is fine now. Yes, it was some kind of a viral infection in his liver or kidneys, I believe. Uh, wait. Stop barking, you mongrels. Cut it out. Uh, so where was I? Yes, a big shout out to Graham and Brock for coming along and Tony, Steve and Charlie and Tom and Sam and Doug. What a great mission up in the hills. Oh, and thanks Dan and Bruce as well for the mission. Yes, very exhausting week, very exhausting week. Early starts and late finishes. It's exhausting not only for us guys, but also for the guests as well. So thanks for coming on that mission team. Thanks for an awesome week. Looking forward to another one. And what's going on this week? Well, a bit of white baiting. That's it, hold it nice, nice and slowly. That's it, move slow. Good work, bro. Yes, bit of white baiting with young Charlie. Haven't had any good runs yet. Well, I haven't. Everyone else has. There were some pretty big runs and we're up the clearance actually. 150 kg here, 200 kg there, 90 kg there. So it just goes to show the white bait fishery on the west coast is still very healthy. Been working on my man cave, slowly getting the fireplace in, the outside fireplace. Yes, it's going to be a kadoozy with silver pine posts on the outside and corrugated iron chimney. Keep tapping, tap. Mean. Yep, split it in half. Just like the backcountry huts. Not putting a great deal of effort into this one, just slapping it up quickly, but I ran out of concrete. Yes, ran out of concrete today. Had to go get some more concrete, be finishing that off in the next couple of days. It's going to be a technology free area. No cell phones, no computers, no devices. Wi Fi doesn't reach out there, so it's great. It will be a place for me and the lads to whittle sticks and talk about man stuff. Yes. Now, if any of you fellas or fellas is bowl around too, you're more than welcome to come stay in our man cave when it's finished. It is going to have a basic bed in there. Unless I turn it into my work shed, then it won't have a bed. But you can sleep on the floor. Anyway, that'll get finished over the next couple of weeks as I buy plywood and other expensive building materials. Also, my house roof is leaking. I'm going to have to take all of the nails out and replace them with tech screws. That's going to be a bit of a job as well. Woofers. We'll get a woofer in. That way I can keep making videos and you guys can keep paying me. Thanks again for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Keeps me rolling. Keeps the family rolling. Keeps the wolves at bay. So I'll catch up next week for a jolly good time and more jolly good adventures. Oh, we might even get out fishing too if the ocean goes flat. Maybe. We'll keep an eye on that swell map. Let you know how it goes. On the spot with Kristen. What's been going on in your little world, dear? I'm so good at on the spot. I know. <laughs> You're such a natural. Um, back to school tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, school lunches. School lunches, but back to school. Kind of a bit shit for us the first 10 days of the holidays, wasn't it? We were so full on working. It was pretty hard out, Sorry, wasn't it? Kids. Yeah, it was, it was full on. I didn't know if we were going to be able to do it, but we did it. It was good. She's talking about the prep for these multi-day trips. There's a lot of stuff that goes into these multi-days. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to show you. Was even worse. Oh, the cleanup took two days. The cleanup took two days, three days, didn't it? By the time we got all the tents dried and everything cleaned and all the rest of it. It doesn't look like a lot of work behind the scenes, but there is a lot of work that goes into these multi-day trips. It's a day on either side and sometimes two days on either side to get everything ready. It really is a massive job. 
Uh, but once again, thanks for your custom. And oh, what's happening this week? Back to school. Back to school. Yay! Lunches. Lunches. Show us these cool lunch boxes. Oh, yeah. These are awesome lunch boxes. These are for my mum. They're called Go Green. Got a little insulated case. And look, some old moldy food. And uh, they have all these individual compartments. Close it up, turn it to close, and airtight. So you don't need to use any fiddly little plastic Tupperware. Are they very expensive? They look plastic expensive. Plastic wrap, they're very expensive. I'm not even, I don't even know how much like. Why don't we just use click clack containers? Because my mum got these and they're awesome. Ah. So, that's why. That's why. I'm going to clean out this bird shit. Some, some kind of oh, okay. pen. Not bird shit. So yeah, they actually grow a layer of healthy mould, kind of like cheese, <laughs> on the inside. It preserves your oh, yeah. kids. <laughs> this one too. Oh my god, I gotta wash them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't get your kids those lunch boxes. How's it going, lads? It's tech free Monday tomorrow. No technology allowed on Mondays. Anyway, until then, have a bloody awesome week. Catch you later.